What's going on guys? Bojo here and I am very excited to talk to you guys about this. One of the most anticipated games that I am waiting for this year is coming out fairly soon. I think maybe only like two or three weeks away and that's NHL 13. Um, the demo has come out. Uh, it's been out for maybe a week or week and a half. I've been playing it a fair amount of time testing out all the new mechanics and whatnot. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys my review of the NHL 13 demo of what you guys can expect online play to be like, just general gameplay, the new game modes, all the new mechanics and whatnot. So enough of me talking, let's get right into it and discuss my review of one of the big things and most important things that they had to change going from NHL 12 to NHL 13 and that would be the skating. Now the skating in NHL 13, I will say this, is a lot different than NHL 12. It's much more lifelike. Um, it's more it's more physics based, I would guess now, rather than NHL 12, where you could basically turn at a 45 degree angle and keep that same speed going, even if you're like going back and forth, back and forth, stopping and going. Not in NHL 13. Now you have momentum. Uh, top end speed, all these c new kinds of uh, um, like special attributes that the players have. It's it's a lot different. Now, let's talk uh, specifics po specifics on position plays. Now, if you're strictly an offensive player, you're going to have a much better time playing offense in NHL 13 than NHL 12. And let me explain that. Even though they did upgrade the defense and computer AI, it's I wouldn't say it's a lot easier to score a goal now. It's a lot easier to get, for you to get a scoring chance. Now, when you're taking shots from, let's say, a slap shot from maybe five feet from the goalie in either like a shootout or an online play, in NHL 12, goalie just snags it right out of the air. Not in this game. You can take a shot from probably five feet away from the goalie and he is either going to get his hands on it and create a rebound opportunity or it's just going to fly right into the net. It makes it a lot easier now to get dirty goals. I play as a center when I play um, online matches and trust me, I'm going to be telling my wingers and defenders to take a lot of shots on net and I'll probably be getting a lot of crappy Danny Breer, Danny Breer type goals. But still, but still, that's the way hockey is. Hockey is a game of bounces, and they've put that into this game. It's now a game of bounces rather than just utter bullshit for when you think you should and shouldn't score a goal. Now, that's offense. Defense, on the other hand, and goalies, I think you guys are going to have a more difficult time for playing your positions. Now, let me explain. The new, one of the new... Um, uh, t things that they incorporated into the game is now back, like back skating. They took out the old um, left trigger option, which was push the puck ahead to, ahead of you to get a bigger boost of speed. But now with top end speed, that that option is no longer available. Now they put in this back skating option, which allows you to just uh, it's clear defined as what it says. You can back skate. You can do like turns, 360 turns. Uh, glide around the glide around the back of the net, face the puck, face the play, and I think as a result of that, it affects the defense because now that they remove that um, defense ability to keep up with the players at all times, it's now more instead of just going after the puck all the time as a defenseman, you're going to have to play your position a lot better because if you screw up on if you're playing your position or you let a player get by you. Your goal, your goalie is probably going to be screwed, and it's on you. Now, as playing as a goalie, it's a little bit different in NHL 13. I have, I don't play goalie much at all, but I did play one period of it, and they took out manual saves and replaced it with um, sort of an an anticipation option. Now, what that means is. Um, when you're expecting a shot to either come from your left, your right, high, low, five hole, whatever, you push the right stick just as you would a manual save, but you would anticipate a shot coming from that direction and your goalie will make an automated save for you. It still works 
uh, the same way in NHL 12 where you really don't have to press anything and just face the way of the puck and usually make a save. But now, like I said, since they upgraded the goalie um, goalies to sometimes let shots go by, that should go by, sometimes you're just going to get beat on a general shot and there's really nothing you can do about it. So that's pretty much it for um, the skating mechanics-wise. It's... Um, it's like I said, it's just going to take time to get used to. It's a lot different now, and you're just going to have to keep playing and playing and getting used to it, getting adjusted to it, and eventually people will be pulling off crazy, crazy moves and dekes and whatnot and scoring crazy, crazy goals. It's it's just the way the game is, and everybody's going to get adjusted to it eventually. Now, some things that I found in the demo that um, I hope they fix is one of them is c actually concerning the hitting. Now, I've hit a couple of computer players before, and uh, how should I put this? When you hit a player, he goes into like this weird animation of getting hit, and pretty much he's on the ground, but he recovers in two seconds. He gets knocked, knocked down on the ice and pretty much gets back up within a second or two seconds and a half with full momentum. I mean, come on. That's something that they definitely have to fix. That's not lifelike at all. I mean, some players do that, but it's, no. It's, that's just something that they're going to need to fix, and I don't really agree with that at all. Um, okay, so let's talk about the game modes. Um, some game modes, like I said, are probably just going to remain the same. I'm expecting HUT to remain the same. Um, GM mode, there were a few tweaks in there with the um, computer-generated stuff. Um, with like concerning trades, game simulations, and whatnot. But as uh, as for right now, I think those two game modes are going to stay relatively the same. And I do plan on playing GM mode for the first time um, in this game. I haven't played it in NHL 11 or NHL 12, but I do plan on playing it for this one. Um, what's another thing? Another new mode that they put in there, I'm not sure if this is just for the demo or they're going to put this in the actual game mode or not, is called Free Skate. Now, um, it's just a lot easier to get to this mode. Now, I know if people wanted to do Free Skate in NHL 12 or whatnot and practice their shootouts, they would actually have to go into their custom player, uh, the player guy that you created for your, um, EASHL club or your Be a Pro. Um you would have to go into like his specific his specific equipment and like test on the ice for you to do a shootout. Now they have a mode for it. It's just a much easier thing to get to. Um be a pro should be the same. Um I don't know if they're having be a legend mode or not. I'm I didn't look into that. But if they do, I'm sure it'll be the same as the other one. Um the Winter Classic is once again still the same and I will say this they did a shitty job of trying to remake Citizens Bank Park. It, it looks absolutely terrible. I know they don't have the rights for that, but still that the scenery of that looks absolutely atrocious. And speaking of scenery, they did um make pretty much all the NHL teams arenas look uh not on the ice wise but in the um uh attendance attendance area, what the hell am I saying, in the seating area, they did make it more lifelike to make it look exactly like the stadium itself. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, another mode that they have put in here, I think, is uh, NHL Moments, where you can play uh, past moments in hockey history, either from last season or many seasons ago with like famous players and whatnot. I think that they're going to do that. Or... Um, they did say that they are going to update it for events that happen in this season. Granted, we do have a season, which I hope to God they do, because I need something to watch on TV during the winter, and I really don't want to be watching football all that much. So, um, that's basically it, guys. Uh, like I said, NHL 13 is going to be a big change for the players who are just going to jump right from NHL 12 right into NHL 13. Um... If you're just gonna, like I said, you're just gonna have to get used to um, playing, playing with these new game modes and mechanics and whatnot. It's just, like I said, it's just gonna take time to figure it out, but eventually we're all gonna get it. And um, yeah, so hope you guys liked my review. I will be putting out, like I said, uh, 
NHL 13 is one game I do plan on covering. I will be making uh, shootout commentaries, uh, GM mode commentaries, EH, EASHL club games with my team. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll be pulling a little Johnny Superb man over here. So <laughs> that should be always fun. So thanks, guys, for your time. And uh, hope to see you when NHL 13 comes out. And uh, hope to God we have an NHL season this year. Thanks, guys.